Welcome back everybody. Let's take a look at Tron. So Tron is coming in at number 16. Holding itself quite well. Uh, its position at the top 20. Tron has been at top 20 for some time and it's holding its position well as evident against BTC. So you can see that Tron uh, has made moves towards the upside against BTC. Any clear signs of a uh, tradable chart pattern? No. Before this, let's do a replay. Replay! So if you do a replay for Tron against uh, BTC, you will be able to see that uh, Tron was in a falling channel, right? And then eventually we broke the falling channel. Uh, we were actually anticipating Tron to hit lower. However, yeah, Tron decided to break the falling channel instead. And so what happened was, ta -da, we broke the falling channel. Here we are. Uh, we are above the skinny pink line right now. So this should indicate that Tron uh, could be on a possible uptrend. Uh, I can't say for sure whether if this is the squeeze. Doesn't really look that doesn't really look that high quality to me. Is there a possibility that Tron could still hit much lower? Sure. Is there a possibility that Tron could hit higher? Sure. Uh, the thing is there's just no clear chart pattern for Tron. Uh, in terms of a tradability, Tron is just, you know, not what we would consider as a tradable especially for the BTC pair, uh, but against USD, oh boy. Tron against USDT, we have three targets. Three freaking targets towards hell. Uh, so for Tron against USDT, there's a target at 0 0.03, 0 0.02, and 0 0.015. <laughs> so this is, a, <laughs> this is a huge move down for Tron, uh, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, the boys and I have been attempting to short Tron for a very long time. However, there's just not enough Tron to go around. Uh, so my, you know, my my instincts are telling me that uh, Tron is you know being highly manipulated. You just can't find enough Tron to go around uh, to buy and sell. Right? I mean, to short a particular coin, you need to be able to borrow that coin, sell it off. And then after that, rebuy the coin at a, at a lower pr price and then you pay it back. And so, yeah, the point is there's just not enough Tron to go around. So, yeah, even on uh, perpetual futures, uh, you, you still can't get enough Tron. There's just not enough Tron to go around, uh, which means that potentially uh, <laughs> the Tron could be overweight towards the short side. Uh, I think there are a lot of people who also would realize that uh, Tron could see a collapse. Uh, and yeah, we are hoping to be able to uh, put on proper trades. What I mean by that is that, you know, not enough Tron to go around. Okay, for example, you want to open a trade for Tron, right? Um, and, uh, you know, potential profits, right? If you were to hit all targets, let's say, for example, uh, should be, I mean, if you hold, I mean, if, if the capital is quite big, then that should be about, let's say, just an example, let's say $100,000, right? But because uh, there is just not enough Tron to go around, your potential profit will drop to maybe 20 something thousand, right? Or 30 something thousand, which means that you should be getting 100,000 in terms of profit if all targets are hit. But because of not enough Tron, uh, you know, to go around, of, I mean, the scarcity of Tron, uh, you, you can't open the full uh, position size. You can only open like one third of your position size. So the uh, profits will also be reflected as a one third, you know, incoming. So that's just not, not worth the time. There are many other coins uh, that has f uh, potential to drop even further. Uh, in, in, you know, Patreon, we are looking at three coins. Uh, Tron is actually one of the coins that has huge, huge potential downside. Uh, there are two more coins uh, which huge, huge uh, potential downside without the uh, shorting restrictions, which means that we can put on a full size for a shot for those other two coins. Um, and yeah, they are relatively liquid. Um, and yeah, they're, they're not a top, top 20 coin, but yeah, they're relatively liquid. And yeah, the point is, I, I really do think that uh, Tron could be heading much, much lower. We actually, you know, dropped and took out uh, this low, but we didn't take this low. We took out this low, and after that, uh, there was a bounce back up. You know, the wheels are saying, no, 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 we're not dropping yet. We're going to consolidate a little bit more. And then only do we start collapsing for Tron against USDT. The point is that things just aren't really looking that good for Tron against USDT. So I'd be very, very careful uh, about going to a trade too soon. I'm going to take a quick trip back to history and look at the full um, 
Tron chart on coin market cap. So on coin market cap, this is how Tron looks like. This is where we are right now, right? Because uh, on Binance, Tron was only listed in June two zero one eight, but uh, uh, Tron has history all the way up to September two zero one seven. So there's like one year's data missing for Tron, right? The, the, the data yeah, is missing. Anyway, for Tron against USD, yeah, you can see that potentially this could be a gigantic squeeze coming on for Tron, right? This whole thing could be an A. We go for a B, Tron could be coming down for a C. So that's why uh, the targets are not too outlandish if you look at the bigger scheme of things, uh, which means that, you know, if, if Tron really does squeeze over here, then this could be a yeah, the precursor of a super duper bull run for Tron. I mean, of course, I could be wrong, and you know, Tron could be consolidating over here. You know, for some reason we don't we don't drop. For some reason we rise, and we consolidate. Yeah, Tron could hit much higher, and and everything could just become pancakes, right? Woo, woo, right. We could do something like that. Uh, it's just you know, tra trading is very hard. My point is, trading is very hard, and all of this is uh predicated on BTC dropping as well. Uh, and if Tron were to drop, how many percent is this? 70 percent? 60 cents down to 15 cents is about, yeah, 75 percent. So if, draw, if Tron were to drop 75 percent, uh, BDC will have to drop all the way down to potentially 13,000. We actually have a target for 13,000 for BTC, but uh, I didn't mention it in the BTC technical analysis video that I just did. Uh, yeah, that there is a 13K target. The point is we have to take things one step at a time. I think that uh, if you were to consider macroeconomics at large, uh, I think a recession is already here. The beginnings of a recession is already here. And um, you could probably you know, feel the pinch, especially if you are in Europe, right? Especially for uh, energy prices as well. Uh, yeah, anyway, my point is um, Tron is, <laughs> eh, Tron is uh, it's, it's just, you know, it's just not really looking that good, yeah, at this point of time. In terms of uh, chart patterns, right? This is, this is as clear as night and day, right? You can see mountain ranges, mountain one, mountain two, mountain three. This is actually what you would call a descending triangle, right? Lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, and then pump, we collapse, right? So this is like a ball bouncing. The ball bounces on four, point, it goes up, point, 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 point. And after that, it uh, continues dropping lower, right? So this is what's happening right now for Tron, right? Point, 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 point. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, again, it would be great though if I could uh, open shots for Tron. I really want to, um, you know, short Tron, but I just, uh, yeah, so it's just highly manipulated. It's just the way things are, and yeah, this this is just uh, <laughs> the reality of situation. All right, uh, I guess that's it for Tron. Uh, our Tron technical analysis. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we'll be taking a look at Avalanche next. So see you in the next one. Right, see you. Ta da.